Listen, Corona can take away my job. Corona can take away my social life and my grip on my own mental health. But when Corona took away the In The Heights release date, I rioted. That's not okay, Corona. That's not okay. Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you're all very, very well. So today I wanted to talk about movie musicals because let's be honest, theaters aren't open. I'm running out of things to talk about. No, I'm joking. I do actually have a very long list of things to talk about, so I won't be running out of content anytime soon. But I did want to talk about movie musicals because there's quite a few coming out within the next year and I'm excited about them. I can't wait for all of them. There's none that I'm dreading like I was cats. Um. <laughs> and I wanted to talk about it. So, for those of you who don't know me, by the way, my name is Amy, I make a lot of theatre content here on YouTube, so I talk a lot about Glee and Broadway and musicals and all that fun stuff. So if that does interest you, then please do subscribe. I had a look and over 50% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so please do that, it would really make my day. And it's a nice deed and I would appreciate it, so please do. Anyway, let's talk about the first movie musical I'm really excited to see, so it's everybody talking about Jamie. So everybody's talking about Jamie is a British musical. It's based on a BBC documentary, Jamie Drag Queen at 16, I believe it was called, which is basically this young guy. He wants to be a drag queen. He wants to go to his school prom dressed as a drag queen and in a dress and heels and looking fabulous and his school won't allow it. And a musical was made out of it. So the musical has been on the West End for quite a few years. I like it. It's not one of my favorite shows of all time, but I do enjoy it. I've only seen it once. But as I say, I do really like the show and I cannot wait for the film for a few reasons. I think the casting looks great. So firstly, playing Jamie is gonna be Max Harwood. He seems like such a nice guy and I've never seen him in anything, but he's put a few videos up of him singing online and he's got a gorgeous voice and I think he just looks perfect to play Jamie. He looks the right age. And so I'm really excited about that. Lauren Patel is gonna be playing Pretty. Pretty is Jamie's best friend. Again, I've not seen her in anything but also like Max she just looks perfect to play pretty from the little bits that I've seen that she shared on social media they seem to have like a great chemistry together as well from the little bits I've seen but the thing I'm most excited about is that Sarah Lancashire is playing Jamie's mom now Sarah Lancashire is probably like my favorite actress I think she's incredible she's a British actress she's been in musicals before she was in like Betty Blue Eyes in the West End a few years ago but I think she is so wonderful about like really realistic acting and I cannot wait to see her in everybody's talking about Jamie. Richard E. Grant is playing Loco Chanel. I love Richard E. Grant as well. He's in one of my favourite films ever which is Jack and Sarah and I just think he's a great comedy actor. He also seems like a really nice person so I like it when nice people get cast in films and things. What's very frustrating is that this film was supposed to be released this I believe October like in the autumn area of this year and it's now been pushed back to June 2021. What? Really? I'm so angry about it. I can't even... <sighs> I can't even put it into words. Please stop delaying things. I just wanna watch it. I just want a lovely movie musical to watch, you know? Next movie I'm very excited about is The Prom. I think it's such an underrated musical. I saw it on Broadway back in 2018 and it's about two girls who want to go to prom together. They're a lesbian couple and the school won't allow it. Again, about a prom. And so the girls aren't allowed to go to the prom. So these Broadway actors basically are like, they've had a Broadway show that's like bombed in the, reviews and like we need to get our image up so they decide to go and help Emma and Alyssa over in Indiana to go to their prom and it's a great show great musical the music is fantastic it's an original story which we always love and honestly I am so excited for this film Meryl Streep is in it I love Meryl Streep we've also got Nicole Kidman back in a musical it's been too long Nicole and also Andrew Reynolds there's a new girl playing Emma Jo Ellen I've not seen her in anything before so that will be exciting and Ariana DeBose from Hamilton and West Side Story is going to be playing Alyssa. The best thing of all is it is being directed by Ryan Murphy for Netflix. I love Netflix and I love Ryan Murphy. I know people have very mixed feelings on him but you know what the man knows how to make a TV show and the man knows how to record musical numbers so I'm looking forward to it. Ryan Murphy has this really great way of displaying grandeur on screen like he did with Pose in the ballroom scenes and like the singing in the hospital and stuff. He seems to like do these like zooms in on people that just 
gives you all the feels. So I'm very excited for this film. It doesn't have an official release date yet, and I know that Netflix can be a bit like that. They're like, it's coming out this year. We'll tell you two days before. Hi, this is me from another video. Just after I said that, the next day, Netflix announced that The Prom is coming out on December 11th. So get ready. I'm so excited. Okay, next film I'm looking forward to is West Side Story. So as I just mentioned, Ariana DeBose is playing Anita. Rachel Zegler is playing Maria. Ansel Elgore is playing Tony. We don't love that so much. The thing that makes this even better is that it's a Steven Spielberg film. Now I love a bit of Stevie Spiel. I mean, let's be honest, the man has done everything. When you compare Jaws to Ready Player One, Jurassic Park, E.T. I mean, he's just made all the big ones, hasn't he? Let's be honest, the man knows how to make a film. I just think it's gonna be incredible. I love Rachel Zegler. She's like a teenager that they got from an open call. I knew her from before that because she has a YouTube channel and she used to put up a lot of musical covers and I loved them. She's got an incredible voice. She looks perfect for the role. I also love how kind of invested she is in like social issues and things. And I think it's so important for young people to see an actor in that position using that platform that they've got to really spread important messages and I think that's amazing and that's nothing to do with the film but I think she's great. It was filmed in New York City, yeah, last summer and one of my friends actually lived in the area that it was filmed and she would like put Instagram stories up of like bits of the set and stuff that was basically like on her doorstep and it just looks amazing. I've seen some tiny, tiny clips of bits. I can't wait for it. Very intrigued to see what happens with Ansel Elgore. Obviously, the allegations came out against him a few months ago. It'd be interesting to see how that's all handled. It's coming out in December this year. We've still not got a trailer for it, even though it's coming out this year. So hopefully we'll get that soon. There's a lot of like people of color in it and like real true representation. So I think it's gonna be a good film. I have very, very, very high hopes for this. When the trailer comes out, should I maybe do a reaction video to it? Would people be interested in that? If you are, let me know. Now next, <laughs> In the Heights. I love In the Heights. I think it's a great musical. I cannot wait for the film. Now back in February, I remember going to the cinema and I saw the trailer and I got goosebumps all over me and I was like, this is the only thing I'm excited about in 2020. And then coronavirus ruined it all. Cannot wait for this film. The trailer looks incredible. There's a lot of people in it who I haven't seen in things before, so I'm really excited to see them. Anthony Ramos is playing Usnavi. You really just can't get better than that, can you? I think he's incredible. Such a great actor. The whole reason I did this video was because the other day I was feeling a bit sad and I was like, maybe I should watch the In the Heights trailer. That'll make me feel better. And then I was like, I'd really like to do a video talking about In the Heights, but all I'm gonna say is just, yeah, I can't wait because it looks amazing. The end of the video. And that's basically all this video is. So In the Heights is basically set in Washington Heights. It's about the stories of the people who live in that area. And basically there's a lottery and it's all, a, I don't want to give away the whole story, but um, somebody in the area wins a lottery ticket and it's all about how that kind of changes and the drama ensues and I've done a really bad example of explaining what that's about, but it's great. You should watch it. And then the final movie that I'm excited about is Dear Evan Hansen. It's only just started filming in the last few weeks. But you know what? I am excited about it. I did a video on it a couple of weeks ago, so if you are interested, pop on over there. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video. And maybe you'll enjoy that, where I talk all about my thoughts on the Dear Evan Hansen movie. But since that video, I've actually reread the book, and I'm really looking forward to it. I think it will be quite true to the book rather than the musical, because there's a lot more backstory for, like, Connor and things. And so hopefully we'll see that all in the movie. We don't have a release date yet. I'm presuming maybe Maybe next year, maybe even the year after. They're filming it at the moment, as I say, so we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. What movie musicals are you excited about? What is your favorite movie musical as well? Leave that down below. And I will see you next time. I hope you're all really, really well. Bye.